Initially frowned upon, if not outright banned, the use of social media in the office is very much on the rise. Rad Bogus with Speak Social, a social media marketing company in North Austin, joins us now to talk about the latest trends. Good morning, Brad. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. And you know, my first question is rather broad, mm -hmm. but how is social media changing the way we do business? Well, um, uh, on a marketing side, social media is giving us an opportunity for the first time to interact with consumers on a on the equal level, and that's uh, that's pretty different for businesses. But there's also uh, internally a lot of benefits that have come out of it, and uh, companies are utilizing social media to communicate within the office and innovate and uh, create new and interesting things. So uh, it's really touching all aspects of business right now, and it can uh, it can even take over customer service for certain companies. So there's a lot of ways it's helping, and it's, uh, it's I mean you know it could take I could take three hours answering yeah. that question. <laughs> no, I know a lot of people yes. who have had a problem with a certain product or something. They tweet out something, and right away they yep. get a, a, a phone call or. A they get a tweet back saying, here's how you fix the problem. Absolutely. So. And sometimes they even get free things out of it. So it's a great way to yeah. you know, grab loyalty out of your consumers. Now, I've got to ask you this. What do potential employees need to know about their Facebook, their Twitter pages, mm. when they're looking for a job or even when they have that job? I'm thinking, you know, you have to be held accountable for everything you tweet or you post. Yeah, I mean, uh, what you need to know is that at least 57% of hiring managers are looking through social media to determine whether you should fit or not. And they're looking for a lot of things. Uh, the first thing they're looking for is professionalism. So, you know, uh, what I would tell anyone who's looking for a job or who already has one is, you know, keep your, your personal and your business life separate. So, you know, make your Facebook page private. It's easy to do, and you can prevent people from being able to see things just on a public level. And therefore, you know, you're not going to have all these yeah. pictures of you partying or drinking available for any of your employers to see. But some employers have even gone so far as to ask for passwords to your Facebook page. That's and, interesting. Yeah, and it's been uh, it's been made illegal in a couple states, but really it hasn't been touched by legislature. But mm -hmm. it can go really far. So you know, just be professional. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're going to have a personal page, keep it private, and yeah. you know, just don't put pictures of you doing stupid things as your profile picture. It's common sense. Pretty much. Speaking from the employer standpoint though, employers are starting to understand that social media is not a fad, mm -hmm. it's not going anywhere, so why not capitalize on it, right? Right. Well, um, you should capitalize on it, but there's the other uh, flip side, which is you don't really have much of an option. Mm -hmm. uh, most companies don't even realize that, you know, especially when it comes to the, um, you know, candidates uh, perspective, people looking for jobs, if they're looking for companies to work with, mm -hmm. they can still see social media reviews of those companies from previous employees. So if a company is not on top of social media, their reputation can get very much ahead of themselves, mm -hmm. and that could be a very bad thing. So, you know, not only are employers looking at employees and their social Social media, but potential employees are also looking at a company's social media and seeing is this a good place to work or not? Yeah. And there's lots of things out there that you can find. Yeah, it goes both ways. Before we go though, uh, which form of social media is most often used by office employees? I'm curious. Uh, LinkedIn generally, okay. but you know, my company we use Facebook really effectively for internal communication too. So. Okay, good to know. Some yeah. great tips. Thank you, Brad, for coming in. Thank you. Thanks.